and welcome back to my channel. This is probably one of my most requested videos ever and I've been waiting to do this for quite a while. I don't know why I've been waiting because nothing is gonna change in there. It's always gonna look this way until someone else moves in because Ali won't let me do any more to the house. So I thought that it was about time that I gave you a first look well, first proper look inside of my wardrobe and how I store all of my rubbish that I've got in there from handbags to shoes to clothes to jackets it's all in there and it's quite a small space as well I thought that it was absolutely massive when we moved in here I thought it was the biggest wardrobe ever and it's actually one of the things that we were like oh, it's so amazing it's got such great storage and now we're like how on earth are we gonna keep all of our stuff in there? I'm constantly having to clear it out. I'm constantly having to be really brutal with how much stuff I keep in there. And um, yeah, so it's not as big as I once thought it was. And it's also not the prettiest of wardrobes. I'm sure on YouTube, you're quite used to these palatial wardrobes where they've got center aisles and beauty stations and things like that. Unfortunately, this is our first home, so I'm not quite there yet but hopefully one day. But inside this wardrobe, it's very much a small space with maximized storage and all of that stuff. So I'm not gonna jabber on any more about it. I'm gonna show you how I store all of my stuff and what's inside my wardrobe. So let's go. So welcome inside of my wardrobe. It's probably not what you expect at all. It's certainly not how I would want my wardrobe to look. It would be all white and bright and you could see everything. Not practical at all, but we've made the best of a bad situation and really maximized on the space that we've got because it does go back really far. Now this actually looks like our house when we moved in because this was our first home when Ali and I bought it together and it was not, it didn't look how we wanted it to look. It was really kind of like dingy. Everything was magnolia and wood and it just did not reflect our style at all but we were on such a tight budget, it was unbelievable. So we couldn't actually afford to decorate on the inside of our wardrobes. So the house looks nice and white, but in here it's still very much that Artex ceiling, the magnolia walls and the wood effect everything. But it is a small space and I feel like we've really done the most with it. I, I had to beg Ali to put in some shelves for me to store my handbags on, but now I feel like it is quite functional for the small space that it is. So let's have a look at all of the rubbish that I keep inside my wardrobe and how I manage to store so much stuff inside of a very, very small space. Because I think you might be quite shocked by how much stuff is actually in here. So first off, let's have a look at this section here. So at the front here, I have all of the items that I have been buying recently. I put them at the front because I usually can't wait to wear them. So they sit there at the front until I feed them into everything. Then back here, I keep most of my bottoms. So jeans, dark jeans and trousers. I tend to double these up just to save a little bit of space. So I've got my two blue pairs of jeans like so falling off, oops. <laughs> and then I've got my black jeans here and then trousers and things like that. As you can see, it's quite tightly packed in here. Probably do a clean out, but that doesn't matter. And then back here, I have most of my jumpers and shirts and tops and things like that. So this section down here was a little bit of a sort of void area. And I'm sure that it would make filtering through my wardrobe and finding things a lot easier if I could just move everything. But it was such a lot of space to be wasted that I now use down here to store like my overnight bags and any sort of boxes that I might need if I might be selling something. It all goes under here and it's just kind of out of the way because there's nowhere else for it to go. So I do use this space quite well, but it does make getting through uh, the actual bulk of my clothing a little bit difficult but at least it's out of the way and no one can see it. Down here, I have a little cushion just to pop the bag that I'm using on at the moment so that it's not sitting on the floor. So it's this cute little cushion that I got from Dunelm and I can just shove the handbag that I'm using in my wardrobe out of the way, ready for me to grab in the morning if I'm rushing off somewhere or if I've got to pop out. It's just easy to grab and go. So up 
here is where I keep a few accessories and bits and bobs. I've got the sunglasses that I wear the most at the moment. I've got my Dior So Real, my Celine New Audrey style, and also my newest sunglasses purchase, which I don't actually know the name of. It's these from Christian Dior. I bought these in Harrods and I totally wasn't planning on buying them, but it was sunny and they were cool and I bought them. This is a gift from the people at Burberry and it's a scarf that I'm gonna to take to get monogrammed and have my name on it once we're married so that I get the right name on it, the right initial, sorry. Then I keep the box for my Chanel handbag at the back because it looks pretty, basically. That's the only reason that is there right now. <laughs> and then if you take all of these bits out, <laughs> look at the state of that back there. That's not how it's supposed to look. Obviously Lumi has been in there playing with it. <laughs> Let's bring that to the front. So this is my sunglasses rack and I've got to admit it's not the best sunglasses rack in the world but I didn't expect it to be. It cost me five pounds off eBay. But it is a place to organize them when Lumi hasn't ruined it. And I've got sunglasses from Dior. These are the Dior So Real ones. Um, these are where are these ones from? I think these are Marc Jacobs. Yep, we've got a Marc Jacobs pair. Then we've got more Dior, Loewe, Porsche Design, and these are my favorites. These are my vintage Ray-Bans. These have got to be 50 years old now. They belong to my dad, and I pestered him for so long for him to give them to me. So these are a bit of a pride possession of mine because there's pictures of him when, we, when I was a baby and he was wearing these sunglasses. So they do mean a lot to me. Then we move on to my storage unit. I know that most people use this for beauty, but I have this in here because it fits. And that's the main thing. It's the one thing that I could get to fit in this section here. And I keep all of my underwear in here and that is separated using those like Ikea um, cubes. So I've got like bras in one thing and thongs and stuff in another. Show us, show us. <laughs> No, okay. They don't look in it. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is how I keep all of my different like underwear bits separate. But those all fit into there nicely and just separate everything so that it's easy to find. Now it's time for the fun part. Let's look at my shoes. So this is where I keep all of my shoes. And it doesn't usually look as nice as this, but I have been making a conscious effort to really keep the space tidy and organized. I got these storage units from the range and I think that they were 4 99 each. And what you can do is you can stack them on top of each other so that you can have as many or as little as you need. So if you want just one to go under an area in your wardrobe or you want a wall of them like this, you can just buy them and add them on. So they're quite good value for money. But there is all different types of shoes in here. I keep my trainers here, my boots, and also my heels. So I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite pairs at the moment. I haven't had the chance to wear them just yet, but these are the Manolo Blahnik Hangisi style. And these are the kind of nude blush shade and they're so pretty that I think I'm actually scared to wear them. So they're one of my favorites at the moment. These from Francesco Russo and I got these from net porte and these make me feel like a Greek goddess. So I really love wearing those. And I know that lots of people wonder where these Jimmy Choo boots are. Well, they're still here. I just haven't got as much wear out of them as I hoped, but I have worn them a few times. I can't wait for it to be warm enough for me to wear my Chanel espadrilles, but bless them, they look so sad. <laughs> They've been squashed in there. <laughs> so we've had a look at everything at this kind of level. So now it's time to sort of move up a little bit and have a look at what I keep up here because it is actually a very tall space. So I have to have a little stepper to help me get up there because I'm quite short. <laughs> now we're up here and I feel very nice and tall. <laughs> and we're gonna start with this rail here and this is where I keep all of my kind of like smart jackets and my favorite coats that aren't really like thick ones. I'll keep any thick ones downstairs in the understairs cupboard. But naturally my Balmain blazers are at the front. So I've got my new pink one which survived the dry cleaners, thankfully. And I've got my beige sort of khaki one here my black one but um it's a really nice place to be able to have these jackets hanging 
where I can get to them and see them all on display because I find that jackets kind of get lost in wardrobes quite a lot. They usually push to the back, but I like to have them all on this one rail so that if I ever want to like throw it on over my outfit, it's right there. Now, way back here in the back is where I keep all of my dresses and it's a bit of a sort of capsule dress collection. So I can keep it on this smaller rail at the back. But my most recent dress purchase, and it's from the brand Fashion Union, which I saw on there and I thought it was so pretty. It's got this kind of like draped front that I thought I'll just buy it. I'm sure I'll get a reason to wear it and it looks so nice on. So I'm sure I'll wear this over the spring, summer sometime. So before we get into the handbags, which I personally think is the good stuff, let's take a quick look at my watch collection because I know that so many people have been so interested in this. So let's have a look at that. So I store my watches on this little crappy thing that I got from eBay and I think again this must have been about five pounds but I've got a number of different tech watches from Huawei to Vector to Guess and then I've got Timex and Olivia Burton and some other bits and bobs but I know that I obviously have my Cartier watch which all of the storage stuff is behind that's my very very special watch I have a wide variety of watches and price points in my collection so that's my watch collection now Let's get into the good stuff. Handbags? Let's do handbags. <laughs> so this is not my ideal handbag storage, but my very lovely fiance, thanks Ali, um, put these shelves up for me and made it so that I could actually have my handbags on display. Now, if I'm not planning on wearing a handbag in the near future, I will stick it in a dust bag. So these ones at the back here, you can see are in their dust bags but these ones are all out because I just like to be able to grab things and go, but they will always go into their dust bags if I'm traveling, that's for sure. So up here I have a lot of my going out bags from Bulgari, Furla, um, I've got ones from Balenciaga, and then on this level, I've got some Mulberry bags, my Louis Vuitton Capucines, my Pochette Matisse, and my Chanel classic flap. And then on this one, I've just got a few random ones really. It's my Diorama in the gray color, and my uh, Dionysus from Gucci, and my Givenchy Antigona. So if anyone was wondering where any of my handbags were, they're all in here. <laughs> <laughs> So that is a very in-depth look inside of my wardrobe and I know that it's obviously a very small space and it is quite cluttered in there, but I have done my best to keep it as organized and um, user-friendly as possible because sometimes I'm grabbing stuff and I'm literally like, oh, what am I gonna wear? <laughs> but um, I hope that you like how I did this and I hope that you have enjoyed having a sneak peek inside my wardrobe. If you have any storage solutions to help it work even better before we move house, please let me know in the comments below because I am all ears when it comes to storage solutions. I am by no means perfect, I'm not an expert on this and I've just kind of worked out this system to suit me, it's not perfect. <laughs> but other than that, I hope that you've liked this video. I do plan on doing a little bit more around my house in the coming months as we get ready to move. So yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed it. And if you did, let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below as well because I would love to see you back here for more. And I'm not gonna say it again, but we're pretty darn close to 400K. I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> and I'll look forward to seeing you back here for more on Sunday. Thanks so much. Bye.